Welcome back. This is again a good set of LRDI that we post on daily LRDI practice hashtag. So do subscribe to the channel because every day I'll be posting a good question for the practice till your CAT exam. Now let's read this set. The table given below shows the data of five different manufacturing plant XYZ Private Limited and LED bulb making company. So XYZ is a LED bulb making company. The five plants are located at five different places PQRST. Each plant has a number of machines. So we do not know how many number of machines each plant has, but they definitely have some number of machines. The maximum and the minimum number of bursts produced by any of the machines in the manufacturing plant on a particular day are given along with the average number of LED per machine of the manufacturing plant on that particular day. So we know that uh, or in the table we have five places or five manufacturing plant PQRST. It is given that in the minimum column that minimum number of bulbs produced by a machine, maximum number of bulbs produced by a machine in that particular plant and the average number of bulbs produced by the machines in that particular plant. So we have the data for all the, all the five plants. Now the question is very simple or the set this time was very simple. Now let's see each of the questions. Now the first question is assuming number of machines in each plant is 15. Okay. So each plant will have 15 number of machines. What could be the maximum number of machines that can produce six or seven LED? So we have to maximize the machines which is producing six or seven LED on a given day. Fine. So we'll have to look for each of the manufacturing plant PQRST. So let's see that. Now each plant has 15 machines. So total number of bulbs or the LED bulbs that would be produced would be average into the machines or the number of machines. So for case of P, it would be 6 into 15 that is in plant uh, P total 90 LED bulbs would be produced. Now there would be a machine which would be producing the minimum, there would be a machine there that would be producing the maximum number of bulbs. Now we have to maximize the 6 and 7. So 15 to 6 is 90. So definitely we'll have one machine producing 3 and one machine producing 9. So 12. If we sum this up, 3 plus 9 is 12. If we subtract this 12 from 90, we'll get 78. Now we have to maximize 6 or 7. Now we have used two machines, which is the maximum minimum and maximum. And total will be uh, we are having 15 machines so we are left with 13 machines and we have to maximize this number again we'll have to focus on this number either 6 or 7 now we can see that 13 machines are left out of 15 now if we just divide 78 by 13 we'll get 6 so we can have 13 machines producing 6 and that would be the maximum number of machines because two machines minimum and maximum is already taken for plant P 13 would be the maximum number of machines that could produce six or seven. Now let's come back to machine Q. Okay. Or the plant Q In plant Q again, we'll have 15 machines. So altogether 60 bulbs would be produced. If we subtract the minimum and maximum, so two plus eight is 10 and we are left with 50 bulbs to be produced by 13 machines. Now we have to maximize the number six and seven. So let me bring this 50 over here. Now, if I make six machines, so I'm circling this or in fact, not six machines. Let's do like this. Okay. Uh, eight machines producing six bulbs. So that would make it to 48. Now we are just left with two bulbs. Now I can see that we are left with five more machines because total remaining machines would be five. One plus one, that is two for the minimum and maximum. We are, we, we are, we were left with 13, eight already gone for eight into six, but we are again left with five machines and minimum two would be given to five machines. So this number cannot be fulfilled or utilized. Hope you are getting the point. So we'll check with the another number that let's suppose seven machines are there producing 
six bulbs. So this would be 42. Now if this is 42, then what would be remaining? Would be remaining eight number of bulbs. Eight number of bulbs would be remaining. How many machines would be remaining? Would be remaining six machines would be remaining, right? Now if six machines are rema remaining and the minimum value is two, then six into two would be 12, but we have to fulfill this eight remaining bulbs. So this number seven can also not be taken into the account, okay? Because <clears throat> it is definitely not fulfilling the case. Now let's check if we have six machines producing six bulbs now why are am i taking every time six bulbs because we have to maximize either six or seven and six is definitely a smaller number than seven so i'm just taking that case now in this case if six into six we are left with 36 or that is 36 we are left with 14 bulbs now this 14 bulbs has to be distributed now this number would increase so seven machines now can i use the seven machines this remaining seven machines, if I give two to this remaining seven machines, it would be 14 and this 14 is, can be taken into the account. So yes, we can take six machines producing six bulbs. So in the case of Q, we can have six machines or the maximum possible value of machine producing either six or seven. In case we are just taking the case of six, so it would be six, fine. Now let's see R. For R again, we'll have 15 number of machines. So this is 45. Now if this is 45, one and seven already taken. So if we subtract eight, one plus seven from 45, we are left with 37. Now 37 has to be distributed to 13 machines, right? Now we have seen in the previous cases that we have to adjust the numbers like this. So I can definitely not take six into six because I would be left with seven machines and that cannot be done. So let's take with six or five machines, five machines producing six bulbs. So in this case, we'll have 30 bulbs. Now we are left with how many bulbs? We are left with seven bulbs. And how many machines? How many machines are we actually left with? We are left with all together because you have taken five machines producing six bulbs. So this is 37. Altogether, we are left with remaining 13, so eight. Now, as we are left with eight machines, minimum each machine can take one, we have to satisfy or we have to get the seven remaining bulbs. So again, this is not possible. So we'll have to decrease a bit. And let's check for the case of four machines producing six bulbs now this can easily be done so we are we are this is 24 the remaining number of bulbs would be or uh, the remaining number of bulbs would be 13 remaining number of machines would be nine now one and if we give one to each and we can manage easily right so four is the number of machines or the maximum number of machines producing six bulbs so in case of r this would be four hope this is clear Okay, so let me erase this. Now let's check for the case of S. Altogether, it would have 15, so that is 60. We have to just subtract the maximum and minimum because there would be one machine which would be giving minimum three bulbs and maximum six bulbs. Okay, now in this case, <coughs> let's do that. So we are left with how much? We are left with uh, 51, the number 51. This has to be distributed to 13 machines okay so let's do again a little hit and trial if i give six machines okay six machines six number of bulbs six machines i'm giving six number of bulbs so i'm taking 36 bulbs or this would be totally producing 36 bulbs now 51 was the total number of bulbs that we have to manage so i'm left with how much 15 number of bulbs the 15 number of bulbs what is the number of machines which is remaining seven now minimum a machine can produce a three bulbs so seven into three is 21 and this number is 15 so yes so this cannot be taken into account so again we'll have to decrease this number so if i make it to five into six this would be 30 
and total number of machines that uh, total number of bulbs that would be left with is 51 minus 30 so that makes it to 21 now in this case i would be left with how much machines now so i would be left with eight machines because total there were 13 machines that i have to manage okay now eight into three eight into three because minimum number of bulbs a machine in plant s would produce is three so 8 into 3 would be 24 and again this is a 21 number this is a lesser number so this case would also not be taken into the account now let's check another smaller number 4 i think this will do the job 4 into 6 is 24 and if this is 24 i have to reach 51 the number of machines that i would be remaining will be 27 now 27 how many machines i'm left with this this is 4 i'm left with nine machines okay nine machines and minimum is three so nine into three is 27 this 27 can be balanced so four machines i'm utilizing four machines over here that is producing six led bulbs now very interestingly i'll have to take one machine over here because this was the maximum number of bulbs a machine can produce and that i've taken earlier into the account before getting this number 13 so all together for case s we'll have five machines which would be producing six four from over here and again one six which i've taken earlier into the account for the maximum okay now in t will not have any machines because the maximum capacity for any machine is five so six and seven is not the possibility so that's zero now let's sum this up 13 plus 6 is 20 uh, 13 plus 6 is 19 19 plus 4 is how much 23 plus 5 is 28 so 20 is not in the option am i missing upon something okay yes so in case of r i have just taken four machines for six and there was a machine uh, or the maximum machine that was producing seven i didn't count that because i have to count either six and seven so this number will eventually be five so one more into 28 so that's what give it to 29 so answer to this question is 329 hope this is clear so let me erase this because i won't be using this information in other questions now the second question is what is the minimum number of machines in all the manufacturing plants taken together we need to find the minimum number of machines in all the manufacturing plants taken together now very interestingly this is just the concept of weighted average or the averages so let's suppose we have to minimize the number of machines in p so a machine which is producing the minimum number of bulbs is three the maximum number of bulbs a machine can produce is nine and if we just take these two machines and if we find the average of it nine plus three plus nine is 12 and divided by two is six so this would be the average so the minimum number of machines would be two right similarly in this case two plus eight is 10 if i take the average the average would be 5 but the average is 4 so i'll have to add one machine which is producing 2 so the total sum would be 12 and if i divide it by 3 it would be 4 the average i'll get the average as 4 so i would be needing one machine more which would be producing uh two led bulbs so altogether i'll be having three machines okay so similarly in r 1 plus 7 would be 8 but i have to get the average of 3 so if we add one machine producing one led bulb so the average would now be nine so total machines would be three okay again three plus six average is definitely uh, 4.5 but the average is four i'll have to make it to uh, four so i'll have to add one machine which is producing three bulbs and then this average would be four so total number of machines in this case would also be three or the minimum possible number of machines okay now in this case 3 plus 5 is 8 and the average is 4 so i don't need to add any machine so 2 will do the job okay so now let's sum this up this would give the summation would give the minimum number of machines so 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 3 is 11 11 plus 2 is 13 so answer to this question is 13. now uh, the third question is what is the minimum number of machines which must have produced two or three led on a given day so we can definitely use the data or the calculation that we have done in the second question what is the minimum number of machines 
which must have produced two or three LEDs. Okay, so very carefully we have to use. So in P, how many machines were there? Or let me write it, okay, let it be over here itself. So P, how many machines were producing? Either two or three. So minimum number of machines in two, uh, in P were two, one is producing three, one is producing nine. So in case of P, I'm getting one. In case of Q, minimum number of machine that was producing was or two LED bulb was two. Okay. In case of R, minimum number of machines that was producing two or three. So this was zero in R because we just take one, one and seven. So zero. Uh, in case of S, we had two machines, three, three. Okay. In case of T, we just had one machine which was producing three. So let's sum this up. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus one is six. So answer is two, six. Now the last question is by what percent LED produced by plant P are more than that in plant Q? Now clearly we do not have any num we do not have the idea of the number of machines that is there in plant P and the number of machines that is there in plant Q. Okay, if you go by the main question stem, we do not have any idea about the total number of productions or total number of machines in fact. So we cannot definitely tell about the how much P is greater than Q. Maybe you know Q is less than P in fact. So this cannot be determined. Okay, so this was an easier question. If you look by the difficulty level of the question, question four was the easiest question that you could do. Uh, two and three are interrelated. Question was one was time packing. Now I'll give you a hint. Whenever you have an easy set, the first question that you get is very time consuming. Just to f make you or fall you into the trap that each question would be individually very time taking and you skip the question though it was an easier question. So if you get a such questions that the question stem is very simple and the first question is very calculative in most of the cases, try to see other questions that you can solve and skip the first question. Hope this is clear. Thank you.